Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have a slight problem, uh, which is again, this area is getting attacked. So um, what I'm thinking is let's use the spider Tron again and try to fix this. It looks like it's a power pull issue. Yep, it's this one over here. Um, this is getting to be a major pain in the socks. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and, um, and build a wall, but we don't have to build a wall, uh, in person. We can build it from space because we actually have this wall creation area right here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go and we're going to grab parts of this wall here, uh, because this is going to help us immensely. Let's just grab... Hey, how about the whole thing? That works. Yay. Let's just do that. Oh, that will work very nicely. All right, let's pick up from here, for example, and just take this all the way down. And that gives us a number of roboports and other stuffs that we can just transfer and put like right down here. Now, there is an issue with um, concave spaces, but at the moment, I don't actually care. I think we're not going to care about that right now. Um, so let's see what we can do is start like here, maybe. Sure. And then as long as we kind of, we can kind of clean up the corners a tiny bit at some point. Let's see, let's get this one. Let's leave room for a station, a wall station, and also room for the walls to overlap on the corner. There we go. Oh, this is nice. And we need to, we're going to have to check those roboports there. And we might have to do something here as well. Let's just go ahead and delete whatever these things are. These, uh, those bits. Because I think we're going to have to do some kind of like a diagonal wall here. Do we have any diagonal wall pieces? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> no, of course not. No, no, no. Of course we don't. No, no. Um, so what I want to do here is I want to get, we need to connect this via robo port right now and connect it with the logistics numbers. Of course, let's get a power pull here. This is all just temporary. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's put these guys a little bit further here on this side where they're more protected. And okay, and we are getting some, some more lasers as we're adding these things right now. So that's good. And let's see, I don't really want to connect it to the main base at all. So we're not going to do that. We just need to get it connected to down over here. Let's just go this way. Tiny bit safer. Those probably will connect. Okay. Spidertron, can you help us out a bit here? Hello? Oh, we have spaces. Okay. Oh, that's what that one is already coming out here. Okay. Can we get this thing placed down? Are we going to get it placed? Come on. Come on, bots. You can do this. Bring us some RoboPort. Bring us some stuff. All right, and this will basically continue to build itself all the way down here. Let's go ahead and just like clump this together for now. And then we can kind of neaten it up here. Uh, let's get this out of here, this out of there. Remove, remove, extra substation there. Get these guys out and then copy this bit, fill it in. Quite easy, easy peasy. There we go. And this is going to work so well. I think what I want to do is remove this bit. Um, not delete those cliffs because those are impenetrable. So cliffs are superior to um, walls because they don't break ever. Let's get these guys out of here. We can move these guys as well. Just copy and paste and get a little bit better coverage here. There we go. It's a little bit neater. Excellent. I don't know if these guys are going to connect, but we will hopefully help try to get them connected. Now, this is going to take a while to build. Um, 
So, let's see. Oh, this needs power. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes, we need definitely need power there. And we need power kind of in a few places for now. I think it's a good idea. So, let's get our Spidertron down there and hopefully we can... Hello, Spidertron. Go, go. Or at least maybe the, maybe we can get some of these other ones. We can also... What is that red thing? Red thing? Okay, they're going to start to place this wall down. Um, did it did it place that power pole? No, not yet. Okay, this one. Hello. Come on, Spidertron. Place some stuff, please. There we go. Okay, so we did get one thing placed down. I'm going to go ahead and place a few of these. You know what? I'm just going to walk and place them. It should be fine. Now then, ah, this part up here. I think what we can do here is we want to extend this wall. And I'm thinking we can do it outside the range of this coal. So let's get that other, this, this thing. Yeah, like that. And I want to just maybe connect it this way. Oh my gosh, that's a big set of biters here. Let's see how it's going to go. Don't know what's going to go on here. Whoa, okay, they're going toward the roboport, which is definitely not ideal. These turrets can barely reach. Oof, that was rough times, man. That was really rough. I think we need to send our Spidertron this way. And at least scan this area. We might need more radars. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but at least we placed a few of these roboports down so that... It's, wait, oh! It's... they don't come out. Oh no. If they're moving... or maybe maybe it doesn't have any more left. Yeah. Oh no, it has eight! Why is it not placing these down? Hello? It just seems to be really slow for some reason. I don't know why. That's really strange. Alright, anyway, we'll take this out here. And, um... Yeah, then try to, like, place more of this down. Do we... Can we put down, like, a radar here? Let's place down a radar right there. Spidertron? Hello? Or we might have to wait for it. I don't know. Why is this not placed down yet? Come on, power pole, get placed. Hello? Might have been already queued from the bots in the base. Yeah, for some reason, the the orders here are really slow. I wonder why that is. That's so strange. Okay, so now this is functional, at least. Oh, goodness, we're getting some biters in here, which is great. Okay, so we have a little bit of this area scanned. I want to use the Spidertron. That's six million. We're probably never going to tap that. It's just not enough to worry about. Okay, so we're not going to do that. So, But what we can do here is get this going like this approximately oh that's nice fits in beautifully hooray and then take the spider tron a little bit further and make sure that we get in a a radar here so get a radar there by the substation and then we'll paste down this blueprint again Please. No, no. R, please. We need to do the R-ness. Yes. Alright, now where is this gonna work? Oh, I realize I did something there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's fine. And then let's fix this. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's get rid of these. Yeah. And then copy this. Go down like this. Nice, nice. Okay rid of that and we have our thingy thingies okay good good there we are nice and then spidertron oh yeah that's right we have no power there that's why that doesn't work but i think do we have radars we do have radars along the way i think maybe we might we'll have to see but yeah this wall train is going to be busy bringing this stuff up all right spidertron let's go up here now and try to get, what we do want to do is maybe have a connection here. I think this should probably connect, but let's build another one just in case right there. And Spidertron, go here. And I think we're going to build this wall all the way around the, the coal patch there. There we go. Whoopsies. 
rotate. I don't know why I keep reaching too far there. Let's just go... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that's fine. Let's go up. Kind of, I don't want to duplicate too many things here, so let's just put this... I don't know, like there? Sure. Yeah, let's just do that. Spider try and go up. So all this is going to kind of fill itself in over time. Let's just go to the right. Oh dear, we have some stuff going on there. Some biters. Actually, what I want to do is... Let's move the spider tron down a bit. I don't want to engage those biters, definitely. So those are going to go that way. That's fine. But I want to go down far enough that this disappears. There we go. That's what I wanted. So that the blueprint doesn't place there. Let's see. Control V. Oh no, 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 no. No, Spider Tron. Go to the left a tiny bit. There we go. Like that. There we are. Rotate. And we'll add this like this. Now we're going to have to go back and check and make sure that these things align or um, there's no breaks in the walls and stuff. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to get this going because I'm not sure if the radar things are proper or not there. We might even increase the size of that wall station. Okay, but in the meantime, let's go fix this corner real quick. All right, let's copy this. There we go. And delete those two as we have on the other sections. Spidertron, go over here, please. There we go. Okay. And let's go and build it again. Oops, rotate. I don't know why my fingers keep reaching so far. <laughs> it's so strange. There we go. Let's get that over. And that is important. Those, These are substations. So this is at least going to continue the content or it's going to ensure the continuity of the electrical network and the coverage of the turrets. Now I am going to take off this bit with the cliffs because I, I feel like we should keep the cliffs. Um, they've been with us for a while. And what's the point of having cliffs if you don't have cliffs? So we're going to go ahead and do a lot of this stuff here. I do want to make, um, let's put a long distance power pole between here. So this connects uh, at another point in the electrical network. And then Spidertron, I think we're pretty good on this. I think we should be fine. Um, yeah, yeah, let's call that good for now. And we'll check on it later. I wish the Spidertron enabled you access to like... Uh, change the combinator settings here. I guess we can do that though. That's not a big problem. We can um, go and grab this wall station thing. This is such a funny thing. This is such a good shortcut, this here, of copying this. Oh no, these... <laughs> no, 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 no. I should filter these chests to be like wooden crates or something. Uh, oh no, I can't do that either. But anyway, we have way too much stuff stored in here that I don't want stored in here. Um, whoops, I forgot to do the thing. And the thing that we want to do is we're going to copy this combinator. So control C, copy the combinator, place it right next to me, and then decide what we want. So I want to have, yeah, 200 wall segments. Sure, 100 lasers. This actually sounds very reasonable. Um, yeah, sure. I'm not going to change that. It's fine. All right. So now, now we can actually do stuff. Hooray. And hopefully this is going to get built soonish. We have several segments going up. Um, are we having any issues with this? Now this seems to be okay. Um, but it's just really slow in picking up some of the needed items and getting power to where it's, it's needed, but we are killing some biters. This is good. This is actually good, so. And then we have this section here, which is, yeah, there we go. 
Okay, that's good. And after this is all fixed up, then we can definitely get rid of some of these items so that the bots have more to, to work with, more material. Look at this. They already destroyed some lasers, but it's okay. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get it sorted, and that way we'll make this area a bit cleaner. We'll leave Building Spider-Tron or the Skyweaver out there for now, and we're just going to continue on our own out here. Uh, I did forget to add a couple of radars, one here, which is annoying, uh, and one over here, but I think we can fix this one quite easily just by adding a radar out here and a power pole. So there we go. And that should be within the building network, I think. Yes. Oh yeah. So there it goes. It's going to be visible very shortly. Uh, and I think I'll go and place the other one myself. So let's go over there and get that going. Just put a radar out here. I think the problem with this area also is that we have no power. So let's go ahead and take power and drag it along and we will add a radar. Now is this far enough? Hello? Yes it is. Nice. Okay, good. I always like to have all of my uh, my entire area monitored. Now, we are not making any science, so we should probably look into this. We have, let's see, worker, robot, cargo size. Let's go ahead and start that research. Stack inserter capacity. And there's a second one as well. So start, start. Actually, we're going to shift click these and just get all of them. Okay, and then worker, robot, cargo size. Let's go ahead and get that one as well. Um, a lot of the other ones are the other, you know, space sciences, which we obviously can't do that, but that's very much by design. Breaking Force 3. Now, this is not something that I generally get. What it does is it enables your trains to take less time in slowing down, i.e. they don't have to slow down until much closer to the station. So I guess it's ish useful I don't know train baking force plus 15% sure why not we can get those but they're really not needed until maybe maybe you have this like a massive base possibly maybe um, and a lot of trains so these are going to call something else we're going to call these copper to drop off yeah we probably are not going to use this yet. Let's see. Alt 8, 9. There we go. Item equals copper ore. Yeah, there we go. Um, we're going to make these orangey, kind of like the coppery thingy majingy. There we go. That, that matches pretty well. Nice. Copy and paste. Good, good. All right. So we have done some stuff. Now, what we need to do is think about where we want stuff to happen. Now, I was thinking about having the smelting down here leading to boxes leading up to this area and then green circuits here and up here, uh, very possibly. Um, this seems reasonable. I think that's probably what I want to do. So we can put our first set of green circuits on this side. Um go ahead and remove some of this nature there we go and ah yes you know what i'm going to turn off my personal logistics oh no turn it uh, uh, uh off this one toggle robo port off okay i want the bots from the base to do this and they can just put this stuff in those uh, chests um, and the building train should be back soonish to take care of that let's go ahead and go through here and pick up a few more bots. I would really like some more construction bots. Are there any? No, there are no. There are none. I should go and just raid the building train when it comes. So we'll hopefully, hopefully it'll come back soon. Let's go and check on our building over here. Ah, oh, look at this. It's starting to appear. Hooray. Looking good. Looking good. And as this, this gets there, we're going to be doing a lot better. Um... Ah, now that is a problem. Look at this. So I think I need just another one of these guys in here. Oh yeah, and it was disconnected also in the plan. So yeah, we, we might need to look at some of the things here because they're not quite connecting. And I think that's because of placing the blueprint multiple times. So it's just something we need to be aware of. So let's go ahead and start off by getting some robo ports down here. 
I'm going to put these fairly close. Now I usually have a group of, I don't know, two or three, um, or like a rows, two or three rows of these guys, because what's going to happen here is this is going to be a very intensive area for bot, um, bot, cons bot, uh, delivery here. And the, the bots are going to be flying back and forth. They're going to need a lot of place to charge. So I think on the front of this, we can use regular power poles. Oh, geez. We need to move this back significantly. Let's just go back. We can go back one to use regular power poles here. It's so hard for me to tell if this is behind or not behind. Is this behind? No. Okay. It's just they, the, the roboports seem like they should be, I don't know, taller or something. I don't know. It's just a very interesting effect. Um, we can also have more of these guys in here. Okay, good. Very nice. And let's see. Is two rows going to be enough? Probably. Probably. Um... Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, and so let's put our first thing of green circuits down here. It's very close to delivery and it's very close to the pickup over there. And then these guys are just going to be for later stuff. So what we want to do is have our um, smelting probably here because this is going to be here and then we're going to have more robo ports and then we can have the delivery boxes along that side. So let's go ahead and get the uh, same plan from iron. And we are going to just basically copy the entire thing. Um, let's grab, I guess we can grab all of these power poles there. And we can even grab the, the inlines for the, this stuff here. So anything beyond here is quite safe. We're not going to build the green circuits to the left, to the right of that railroad track. So I want to just put this maybe here. I think it's enough for a balancer. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also want to connect this entire thing together. So we're going to have things here so that we can build up the mine and also uh, take apart the mine when it comes to that. Okay. I want to turn on my roboport. There we go. Good. Okay, and that's coming online. And these guys are going to come online as well. Now then, um, according to our calculator, uh, let, let me check. I think we still have the same productivity. And we decided, or the calculator decided, um, that we need, let's see. One belt is going to be 37 and a half miners. Now, should we do this by belt? I'm not sure, because if we don't do it by belt, then we're going to have to go from the back side and take more belts from the back if they're too big. Let's see how, how long is our longest one. It's 48. I think that's okay to have as one belt. I think it's okay. Um, the, yeah, the only way to fix that is literally to take a belt from the back side. We could actually do that, though. We could be very specific about this. Let's see. This one here, for example, is 40. And we need 37.5. But this one is 45. I don't think it's worth the effort, honestly. I mean, we are going to have... But the thing is, you know, ones on the edge are going to be done. And it's like, eh, I don't know. So let's see what we got. What do we have in these two groups here? This section is 23 24 25 so this is 25 there and what about this side this is 21 so those two ends can definitely combine into one belt so i might want to do that actually um otherwise we have one two three four five six so we have like seven seven to one two three four five seven to five we're going to leave it at five for now. Um, if we need more, well, actually, what? We have seven. We can actually make seven, though. Yeah, seven to seven. Why not? Uh, so I think we'll get probably an eight to eight balancer. Let's see if we have that. 
could get a seven to seven. Depends how complicated and weird it is. Because sometimes I don't like to have the room and it's just fine. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's a bit squiggly, but it's fine. So we'll do a seven to seven. And that will work very nicely indeed. Okay, very good. I like this. Um, Yeah, sure. Is that enough space? I think it is. I think it's fine. Yes, good. We'll do this and... Those two can combine into one. So how do we want to do this exactly? I think we need... We need a few undergroundies for sure. Now let's go and grab our... Stuff from the building train. Is the building train ever going to come? Hello? Where is the building train? Is it somewhere? No? Ah, come over to green circuits, please. We need you. We need you here. Yeah. Let's go and pick out some of these things. And any belts that we can find. Okay, belts, undergroundies. Undergroundies, belts. I guess I could wait for the bots to deliver it, but... Sometimes it's more, I don't know, fun or useful if you can just pick it up yourself and just put it down. Okay, let's go here. That looks like it needs some power. There we go. So this is coming this way. We need another, another thingy over here. This should be a good spot. Yep, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. So this is going to be able to, yep, build all of this stuff from the base. Now this is going to go across here. And so I think what we need is... Oh boy. Um, let's see. We want to connect these things, but it's hard to find the center sometimes. So let's see. Four. Okay, let's just do this if we can. There we go. And then we'll just connect it this way. So I'm thinking this one goes there. Oh, that's perfect. Look at this. And then this one might connect with belt number one, I'm thinking. Let's see, this one can go this way. Oh, this is perfect. Excellent. Alrighty, here we go. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. Um, now the other one is a bit sneaky. Um, let's go down here. Let's see, how can we get this one through? We can do some shenanigans. Hmm. Maybe take off this one, I guess. Okay, so we have this, and then we have this, because those two combined basically make one belt, a little bit more than one belt, but that's okay. We're not really that bothered about it. Good. I don't know if those are exact or not, but it's, it's fine. It'll work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So... Building train, hello. <laughs> it probably came here and I, I didn't even see it. So we're, we're going to hang out around here for just a second while we're getting stuff going. We'll stop the train and just pull out a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just uh, take this over here and then do a, a fluid or something. Fluid count. Or empty train. Yep. Empty. Just say and empty yeah so we'll wait for it to get there but in the meanwhile that lets us do all of this stuff and then also uh, make a few more things so we can make some more a couple more arrays here and that's gonna work quite beautifully let's see let's pull out let's copy i don't know say this one this one this one that's two Okay, good, good. And then we'll place these here. And then change the belts a tiny bit. Good. Okay. 
Very nice. So now we have seven of those arrays. This is quite beautiful. Hooray. Is this connected? That one is connected. Perfect, perfect. We just need to get some of the power across. It's kind of a bit sneaky that we have this railroad line coming right through here. But it's going to be fine. If anything, we can always squiggle it over here to have parking. But I don't think we're going to need it. I think we're actually really good with this. And look at this. We're getting copper plates already. Hooray! Oh my god, this is exciting. Okay, so we're very excited about this. Life is good. Life is really good right now. Oh, look at all this. All the delivery is being made. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few of these myself. Um, and we're going to need some machines too. Um, because this is, oh, this is exciting land. Oh my god, so good. Do we have any inserters? We have plenty of, uh, plenty of inserters mostly. Good, good. Now then, um, yeah, we decided I think that two is enough. So when we look at making green circuits, when you have full productivity, uh, and in, in the, um, a copper cable machine, that means you can directly feed the um, the green circuit machine one to one, you know, like this. One of those equals one of these. You need, let's see, I'm looking at the Kirk McDonald calculator and you need, let's see, 1.1 of these to feed one of these. So that's close enough to one to one for me. I, I'm quite happy about that. But this is not a very good configuration. We want to do something a tiny bit different than this. So what we're going to do is probably something like this. Uh, let's go and pick this up like this. So what we want to do is we want to reduce as much as possible the number of um, bot trips. So we're not going to have the bots flying the copper cable into the green circuits. That would be just silly. So what we want to do instead is have a regular chest here to get that stuff out and do this kind of thing. So it direct feeds this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a requester chest here that is going to request stuff, both iron and copper, to feed these kind of things here. Now let's see, we also need a... Let's see, get this there, that there, and we also need, do we have any modules? I don't know if we have any modules or not. I probably should find some if we don't have any. <laughs> I should go find modules, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Oh, I found some, hooray. Okay, we need to get some of these. Enough for, I had to turn off the, I did turn off that, that's good. So I need eight, so that's eight, so we can, Delete these. Delete, 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 delete. And copy and replace with these, 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 these. Just to give it the module thingy again. Let's see if we found if we can find any speed modules. Yeah. This is like a like a needle in a haystack at the moment. Um alright. That's not ideal. Okay, so we have eight of those. We probably have to go over over to the other area. Oh, the breaking force and stuff is finished. Okay, let's go ahead and just shift click these guys and then get maybe uranium ammo. We probably should get refined flammables for sure. Uh, breaking, f oh yeah, we already got that one. That's good. Mining productivity, yes, let's get some of that. And then the rocket silo is also good. Oh, worker robot speed is great. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of speed for this build. That's for sure. Okay. This is so silly having to go all the way over here to go and get some... Oh my gosh, it actually finished! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, that's nice. That's great. I'm so glad that it finished. Okay, so I know that we have some of the modules placed in here. Let's see. If we turn... No. Where are they? They must be here somewhere. Oh, there's some. Okay, I found some. Hooray. So we need many of these modules. We need 16 of them. And the reason we're collecting these is very specific. None there, none there. Oh no, oh no. 
Oh, there's some here though. Hooray. How many is that? 12. I need four more. Come on, cough them up thing. I need them. Let's go ahead and delete these things that are not having modules so we know which ones to replace. Are there any that have one module? Um, kind of looking and like, I'm not seeing it. Where are they? Oh no. I wonder if any were delivered to this. Oh no, there's no thing over there, but we can check on our wall. The wall's doing great. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. Okay. So apparently that doesn't, hello. <laughs> Not close enough. Dang it. I think this is just too far away in general. So let's put one here. Okay. What about up here? Are we okay up here? Or are we again in like who knows where land? We probably should put another radar up here though. Let's put one there. Just to get this. Keep on building. Come on guys. Keep it going. Um. All right. I was going to check over there, but we don't know. Filters to... Darn it, I wish there was an easier way. It's really hard to see it on the new things. You've probably noticed that I keep the uh, alt mode on always for these guys. Just because it's... For me, it's really difficult to see when the modules are in there. So I'm really glad that the uh, the devs added that. Since it was a bit like, okay, how do I see this? But it's good that we have both options. Cause I think if you turn it off, it's more subtle. It makes the game more subtle. Um, but I like to see this stuff just to make sure things are there all the time. Okay, do we have any modules here? I know there has to be some here. Hello. I really don't want to have to go back to the base and get these things. I know that they have to be here, right? They gotta be here. Hello. Where? I wonder if some of these guys have only one. Uh, but it's not showing. You kind of have to like really look and um, and they're all they all are doing their electrical thing. I thought, oh, maybe that's a thing. If they don't have modules. They wouldn't do that. I'm looking, they end up here or here, but ah, darn it. I think we don't have it. 12. Ugh. This is not ideal. The reason I'm looking for these things is the way you can copy and paste certain things. All right. Do these guys have any modules? No. Nope. Not in the Logi system. Alas. I could go back to the base and see if there are any. Let's see if there are any in the in the thingy. Let's see. Base? Do you have any? No, there aren't even any in the base. Oh no. Why aren't there any in the base? I guess it's just slow or something. Yeah, probably it's, it's just a lack of chips. <gasps> no, look what I did. Oh, I'm so bad. I am really bad. Holy fuzzy cats, I'm bad. No. Okay, I did the same thing over as I did over here. I forgot to do the bypass. Oh, jeez. Bad KOS. I can't believe nobody notified me of this. Oh my gosh. Commenters, I was relying on you. And now, oh no. No, it's fine. Um, that was my fault. It's my build. I the bad. So um, yeah, it's okay. It's just fine. Okay, there we go. So at least we're going to get some made. I think what happened is we haven't gotten any made. I think it's all going into production modules. So at least we sort of fixed that. But one of the biggest problems, if you couldn't tell, is the, um, the whole idea of modules. And one of the first things we want to build in our mega base is module production, uh, because uh, it's going to basically, I don't know, it's, it's the whole world is what we need to do is module production. And, um, without the modules, things don't function very well if we want to do an end game build. So anyway, let's go ahead and get these guys properly situated. That looks ish. Correct. Like that maybe let's place these down. I'm going to go ahead and put in these modules here. 
eight. And there we go, four. Okay, and then I want to do... Oh, oh, no, I was too excited. Never mind, never mind, it's fine. Okay, personal roboport. Let's go ahead and place those down. We can also put modules in all of these guys, as many as possible. That's okay. So what happens if you... When we power these things up, okay, that's fine. That's good. We could move these over to like, that's one, two. So if they're here, one, two, and then copy this one there like that. Yeah, this is what we actually need. So we'll have to move one at a time. Um, but I think that should be fine for experimenting anyway. Let's take these out of here and put these in there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so, uh, let's put this here and connect there. Yay. Now then. Um, this one, is that one hitting? Yes, it is. This is pretty fine. I think it's fine enough. So... What we have here is many things hitting this. And if you copy the request, if you do shift right click and paste in the chest, not that chest, the requester chest. My goodness, I put the wrong chest down. Anyway, paste there. It will give you enough request for 30 seconds of production. This is important. So what we want to do here is say we want... Um, approximately 300 iron plates and then we're going to take off the copper cable. So remember 300 for that one and then what do we need for this guy? We need 180. So we're going to do, let's see, 300 iron plates because remember it's going to be slightly faster because we need more modules. So we're just going to kind of estimate maybe 320 or something. That's a lot of iron plates. And then this one we'll put it up to like 200. And there's more than enough space in this chest for that many materials. So this is the blueprint we're going to use for this. Now, what are we going to do about the output for green circuits? Let's go ahead and make a passive provider for that. And I think we're going to limit it to like, I don't know, two stacks or four stacks. Yeah, I think we should limit it to maybe four stacks. And that's, that's going to be our blueprint for this. Um, and it's it's easily tileable. You can see that it works quite well. We just need to have a power pole. So let's see. We do have power poles on this side. So this is actually a really good combination here. And what I want to do, I think, is I think I'm going to remove this thing so that this is disconnected logistically from anything else. So that the modules go into the assemblers first instead of into the furnaces. So let's take this off. Take this off. This is okay. Yeah, good. Square. Good. So let's copy this first and lay this down. You can actually start kind of over here and then just add this like this. Yay. And then get rid of these things. It's fine copy this blueprint so what i think i'm going to do here is we're going to do a grid size sure we're going to try this create i think it should if we hold shift and the reason i don't like doing this is just because i don't like doing this um so i think we can do like this sure let's try this if we hold shift, it should... There we go. We're doing this way. The problem is if, if you let go of shift, it doesn't... Or if you let go of the, the hold button, the left click, it doesn't work anymore. So I kind of like to place, place, place instead of having to hold. But it's, uh, it's an interesting thing and uh, it might work for some people. So let's see. We want to do... Take that off because I, I like having my blooper and thingy there. Let's see. Do we have... I don't have any beacons. Huh. Okay. Did we run out of beacons thing? Train? Hello? Why are there no Logibots? Hello, Logibots. Oh, my logistics are off. That's why. Ha. Huh. But, oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on. 
They took that stuff, but I want to take back these guys and let my bots place those if we need them. What else? We have this stuff, random, random, stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, good, good. Beacons, where are they? Hello? Oh, we're out. Okay. I think it's time to let the train go. Let's go. Come on. Go into automatic mode. Go back home and get us some stuff, please. All right. Very good. Um, I want to just I wanna remove these by hand and then place them and just make sure that we are getting the right placement here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so this is perfect. This section there. I do need to check for... Let's see. I'm going to remove that one and then... Nope, nope. Bad. Bad. Do not. <laughs> it's a dumb thing. Come on. Come on, read my mind. I want you to do other things. <laughs> um, if we do this, yeah, we can see that that's the end one needed. So that's perfect. Okay, great. So now we have our array. Um, now, before, remember we did this measuring thing of how far these guys should be. So we can actually copy this and see how far we have here. Now, do we want to use that max distance? I don't know. Um, but this is this is our option. This is our max distance thing that we get. Uh, it might be okay to put this here. The question that we're looking at is, how far do we put the boxes that are serving these guys from here? That is our question. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this again and have many of these little arrays here. Paste and paste. Again, some more pasting. Okay, and then we can have, let's copy this next one. Now I have not done any, I'm just putting down many machines. Uh, we are not, I haven't calculated SPM yet. I'm just wanting to get some production down for the materials that we have. I don't know. Oh no, that was wrong. Uh, and it's likely that this array is not enough to fulfill all these machines, but I just want to have something. Uh, later on, we're going to calculate for like one SPM or two SPM, whatever we decide to go for. And that's, uh, or 1K SPM, 1000 science per minute, which means all sciences, including space science. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just putting some production down. That's what we're doing. Now let's see, I want to put in, now those cover this side. So we're going to have to have some power poles here. And um, yeah. I think I'm just going to copy this whole thing, like this. I just add it on the bottom here. Just use the straightness thingy thingy. We'll go down one. Perfect with power poles. Oh, this is excellent. Okay. So the idea is to have these guys on either side of a train section. These actually seem really far. So I think I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take off the last row here. Um, I'm going to take these off. And then just move these roboports up a bit. I definitely feel like that's better. Okay, let's get rid of these. And put these up. There we go. Yeah, because we don't want the, the boss to travel too far. And in fact, we might even smush this a little bit further. It depends how, how, how it feels to us. Uh, because what's going to happen is the bots are going to have to take the copper from this side. Or alternatively, we could pipe it up this side as well. That's an option. Uh, but we do want to use all the machines instead of just having it collect in just a few machines on the side there. So I want to just make sure that we're distributing this well. And it's going to work for us. Uh, all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these machines right now. Uh, and we're going to need to connect the copper. But I think I'm looking at the time now. And I think we should wait until uh, the next episode. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <sighs> Silly me. 
Anyway, <laughs> now it's going to go and do the things and the stuff. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is just we're going to take this off for now. And so new modules are going to come in and they will be able to get into this stuff instead. Uh, looks like we also need to take off this RoboPort. Yeah, so we don't get... There we go. It's fine. I think this is fine. These guys won't cover uh, that much right now. But uh, the productivity should go into the green circuits or the edge of these guys over here. But I think it's fine. Um, and so this is what we're going to go with. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.